What's up all my legends out there and welcome back to another What to Buy Wednesdays. This is February 27th, 2019 and in these What to Buy Wednesday episodes, we kind of look at stuff that I think maybe you should look at buying, you know, not necessarily have to buy or anything, but yeah, check it out. Maybe think about investing in, in a few of um, the things I'm looking at in this week um, on Most Expensive Mondays, we looked at the Top Heritage High Number 2018 baseball product, and we looked at the most expensive cards, and wow, there are a lot of incredible cards in that set, and as many of you may or may not know, I love to collect blaster boxes. That's kind of what I've been collecting since I've gotten back in the hobby in the last couple months, so I really, really enjoy blaster boxes and picked up a couple of the Heritage High Number baseball blaster boxes. I can't remember if I have two or three, somewhere around there. And I will be breaking one open tomorrow and live breaking it on the sports card forum. So that'll be super fun. And I can't wait to check out the product that way. Had a, had a lots of fun breaking the 2018 Allen and Ginter blaster box that I had and still have a couple saved for the collection. But let's get into the 2018 high number baseball. And once again, I just want to say that I cannot stress enough how, how much value I think is in the 2018 rookie class and the products of 2018. And I think they're a little bit undervalued simply because one, all the new products are coming out like Heritage Baseball 2019 comes out on the 27th, I believe, um, which is, you know, today, this Wednesday. So there'll be a lot of YouTube videos and breaks on that. I can't, I'm really excited to see what those are going to be like and to see what the product looks like. The regular Tops Baseball Series 2019 came out. So everybody's excited about that, spending money on that. And then, you know, baseball season's not really here. We're just getting into spring training. So we're kind of out of season. Um, everybody's distracted with basketball. Everybody's just getting over football. So not really looking at the baseball products too much. And that's where I think you can find a little value and, and pick up some um, products that have tons and tons of great cards and lots of big hits and stuff like that. So if we look at the Heritage High Number Baseball 2018 Blaster Boxes on Amazon, they're looking about $21 shipped which is um, higher than I was seeing them. I think I was seeing them for the, about the 18 to $19 range. So they gone up a couple dollars there, which is pretty interesting, but um, $21 ship, not too bad. And they have some hanger boxes for 1099 ship prime. I'm not, I'm not too into hanger boxes or haven't really gotten into them, but a lot of people love them. And for $11 ship for a hanger box of high number baseball, that might be something I might pick up here pretty soon and grab and definitely uh, check out then if we look at the same 2018 heritage high baseball blacks blaster boxes on ebay they're looking at around 17 30s looking around the cheapest one 17 so if you can pick them up for 17 there you're saving a little money over amazon and i remember a couple weeks ago i picked up my two or three for around 15 dollars. so they've clearly um the boxes have clearly gone up uh and they are they might be going up so that's something to, to consider um this people might be catching on to this product also a little bit here and might be getting a little bit more scarce and one thing i did notice on ebay which i thought was interesting is they have the someone selling a, the walmart exclusive factory sealed boxes i think i've been getting the uh, hobby from the hobby the hobby side of the hobby blaster boxes i'm not entirely sure but it would be interesting to pick up maybe some of the target or walmart blaster boxes i do pick i do have a couple in my collection that i pick up when i go to target i haven't been to walmart lately but i did grab one or two i think from the last couple times i went to target just to add to the collection not heritage high baseball but some other stuff i can't remember exactly which which product it was but just stuff that interests me and those are around twenty dollars or they were twenty dollars each so you usually can pick the blaster boxes up for a little cheaper on ebay and amazon um as is the case most times but yeah, the Topps 2018 Heritage High Number Baseball looks like an awesome product. Can't wait to bust open my blaster box and see what's in there. Um, we did Allen and Ginter last week, 2018 Baseball, and that, that product's simply amazing and awesome. And I pulled an Acuna Jr. Mini Auto out of my blaster box that I opened. So pretty good start to my recollecting career. Um, it's funny, that and that's the first blaster box I opened since I've been collecting, and I probably have maybe... 10, 10 or 12 in my collection right now that are just unopened sitting there waiting to be open and definitely waiting to just be saved and enjoyed. So let's look at something else. I've been watching tons of daily fantasy sports, basketball I play, so watching tons of basketball. So I kind of was looking this last couple of weeks at basketball auto jerseys, 
which I thought were really interesting. And I think basketball auto jerseys might be a little bit underpriced, even for most players, simply because, I don't know, the cards just aren't as expensive as baseball and football cards. And the auto jerseys are just super, super nice cards, and there's tons of them. So I was looking at some of the some of the bigger player names as I'm watching, you know, the after the All-Star break, everybody playing and stuff. And um, I picked up a Harrison Barnes auto jersey for like six or seven bucks. Now, I, I thought he was going to be doing really, really amazing for the Kings. I mean, I love the Kings in this, but I don't know if I'd invest in these for six or seven bucks. Harrison Barnes, he's been kind of – he came out gunning, and he has great games and then ten bad ones and then one great one. And – there's a lot of stars on the Kings like Fox and Heald and Bagley the third. So maybe not the best pickup, but I got a, I got a Barnes Jersey auto for like seven bucks that I all enjoy. And I really liked it. And then I was looking at um now that uh, Anthony Davis is kind of moving out of new Orleans and they're not even playing holiday or really playing the veterans. I started looking at a uh, check, check Diallo cards and he's been playing pretty well when uh, anytime Anthony Davis sits out, and uh, I got one of his auto jersey cards, and I got that for about six or seven dollars. So we'll see how we'll see how those that card that card might be a little better investment. The check deal, and it's his rookie card, rookie auto jersey. Then I was looking at some Brandon Ingrams, and those were selling. Those are high. Um, I saw one sell at auction for like twenty two dollars, but um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I I want to pick up one, but. Um, I have to look and kind of study the market more. I didn't see really many, too many at auction. And then one guy I did really kind of find interesting. I looked, I was looking at uh, Nicholas Batum auto jerseys. And I found those kind of interesting because when you search them on eBay, there only comes up 12 results and some of them are just jerseys and some of them are just Jersey cards. So the auto jerseys, most players, they have tons basketball wise. doesn't really matter who it is. There's just tons out there. And Nicholas Batum, which you can pick one up right here for seven fifty plus shipping, but that seems like a really common one, as um as many know that I like to if I'm gonna buy a buy a card of something or somebody or something that I think is a good idea, I try to find the ones that are least common for the best price, not the one where there's just like twenty of them, like this Panini impeccable elegance jersey auto number to ninety nine, but um yeah, I want to get one of these. I haven't figured out which one I want to get. There's just, here's one for $11 with free shipping that I kind of like had my eye on the national trestles treasures, colossal Jersey autographs. But yeah, there's only 12, 12 even available to buy. So that tells me mm, this market's kind of small. Maybe you could pick up some good hits in Batum. He's just coming back off an injury and he's playing amazing. I know Charlotte's not the greatest, the most hype market or anything like that, but yeah, maybe look at some Batum Jersey autos. And then I also looked at some Kelly Oubre autos and was trying to pick up one for under 10. I like how he's been playing out in Phoenix. And just another thing to emphasize, the Batum auto. Someone else I was looking at was Elf, Alfred Payton jersey autos. And look, Batum has 12 results. And if you search Alfred Payton jersey autos, even a more refined search with his whole name, there's 54 results. So you're talking 12 versus 54. I mean, that's a huge different difference in how rare the cards are or what's available. But, yeah, the Alfred Payton auto jerseys are looking sweet and very cheap. You look and you can pick them up five or six bucks if you want to get one of those. So, yeah, I've been I've been thinking about just picking up more NBA jersey autos because jersey auto cards I just think are super, super amazing looking. And you get the best of pretty much all worlds. You get you get the auto in. You get a piece of game, game war material. And I think even though the basketball season is super strong right now, I think there's some great value in, in some of these cards are just – uh, picking them up for your collection just for the the eye pop and the eye candy and, and that kind of stuff and, and trade bait and things like that. I think you can pick up some uh, NBA jersey autos really cheap now. And now that the uh, second half of the season's getting underway, we're going to kind of see where the playoffs go, see see which players are are really shining and who might be able to pick up steam for even even next year and pick them up at a great price this year. So that's pretty much wraps us up for uh, what to buy Wednesdays. Would love to hear in the comments, what everybody else is buying. I love watching all the YouTube content to, to listen to what everybody's buying and also watch the breaks and, and see what everybody's breaking open and buying. So yeah, let me know in the comments what, what you think I should be buying any blaster boxes that I should keep on my radar. Would love to get a thumbs up and would love if you hit the subscribe button 
I really appreciate it. And yeah, we're, we're doing a video or two a day. So check them out and we're not going to stop. And tomorrow is going to be uh talk about it. Thursdays where we, we get to talk about anything and have a fun, fun story as I did last Thursday, where we talked about minor league baseball, ball hawking and how fun minor league baseball can be. So yeah, stay tuned. Thank you everybody for listening. And it, it means a ton to me. Um, really enjoy everybody in the community and look forward to speaking and talking with anybody. So everybody, you can always go to my website, lineuplegends.com. The link will be in the description and contact me through there. Leave a comment, contact me through YouTube. I'm really easy to get a hold of. I love sending free cards in the mail to people. So yep. Talk soon.